Hello friends, my name is Tofik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video in Adobe Illustrator, we are going to see how we can obtain a property called as linear transparency, which is not present in Adobe Illustrator. So there is no specific tool using which we can obtain linear transparency. But at the same time in Corel Raw, there is a specific tool using which we can obtain linear transparency. So I'll show it, show you in Corel Raw, even if you don't use Corel Raw, I'm just giving an example. So let's say if I want to obtain linear transparency on this particular object, I can simply use the transparency tool. I can simply click and drag. So, so this is known as linear transparency, opaque and opaque on one side and gradually going into transparency on the other side. So what if I want to achieve this similar effect or similar property in Adobe Illustrator? It is very simple. We need a couple of things. We need gradient tool and we also need transparency panel. So one by one we will see. So using the gradient tool, I'm going to apply the black and white color to the gradient. So I want to change the uh, direction of the colors, black and white colors. So I'm going to use window menu and gradient panel from here and I'm going to change the direction of the gradient 90. So I want black color at the bottom and white color at the tops at the top. So black color will hide the area of the any given selected object and white color will show the object. So let's say I want to apply the effect on another object. So this will be our object and I will apply some other color. So just put the the gradient object on top of the object like this the gradient the object on which we have applied the gradient should be on top like this little bit more and simply select both the objects and now we need to use another panel called as transparency panel so which is here transparency and use the make mask option from the transparency panel and remember we have selected both the objects so this is how it will look now if i move it on the image so this is called as the linear transparency opaque on one side and transparent on the other side now what if we want to change the values it is very simple click on the object first now choose and click over here now the mask and the object are linked together so they will move together but what if you want to change the values we can simply click on this mask option click so the lock or the link will be temporarily it will be deactivated then choose the gradient tool and choose the values accordingly and remember the black color has to be totally black like the deepest value like here from here black only then it will hide the object completely if you choose gray color it won't hide the object completely it will look something like this i will zoom it a little bit so that you will understand so i can see some portion of the object because i haven't used the complete black black color so if i use the black color absolute black only then it will hide it completely like this now we can't see the object over here and we can see the object over here because we have white color at the top and what if i want to apply the same and remember if you click on this mask only mask will move if you want to move the move both the shapes together then we have to click on the shape button and then only we can move both the objects and what if i want to apply linear transparency on this image i can simply create a rectangle i can create a bigger rectangle but it shouldn't be smaller than the object it can be bigger so i'm keeping it of the equal size and now i'm moving this again i'm going to apply the gradient and i'm going to use gradient and from the gradient panel i'm going to change the angle 90 degree black color remember black color will hide the object and white color will show black 
conceals and white reveals so this is how it will look i will put it like this and i'm going to select both the objects like this and again go to transparency and make mask so this is how it will look i will apply or i will rather create a object so that you will understand properly so this is how it will look and if you want to change the transparency values you can simply click on the object and click over here on the right side and then we can using the gradient tool we can change the values like this we can change the values so as you can see it is disappearing means that it is applying the transparency so this is called as linear transparency and we can easily achieve the linear transparency property even though we don't have any specific tool in adobe illustrator from which we can obtain the linear transparency so it is very easy so if you want to apply this property in any of your designs you can simply follow these steps and achieve the goal so that's it for this video if you find this video useful give this a video like and please subscribe to my channel so i'll see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers